What's the story? Hello again, welcome back to Storm Talk. Today we are going to be going over Rainer, the Renegade Commander. Take a moment to look at his character model. So, his trait is lead from the front. Reduce ability cooldowns by killing an enemy. This includes minions. We'll get into that later. Uh, penetrating rounds. Fire a shot, damaging and knocking back enemies in a line. Inspire. Increase the attack speed and attack damage for self and allies. Adrenaline rush. Automatically heal when low on health. His heroic abilities are Hyperion. Call down Hyperion and it blows stuff up. Commander Rainer, and this here's my favorite store in the Nexus. And the Rainer's Raiders. Call in two cloak banshees. His skins are the Renegade Commander and variations. Master skin and variations. Commander Rainer and variations, and Stars and Stripes, and variations. As you can see, I own Stars and Stripes Rainer, so we're going to go Stars and Stripes Rainer. One thing I do kind of regret is I don't play him nearly as much as I want to. Um, I never, like, I, most of the time I'm, I'm logging on for about an hour or two, play in my missions, like play my daily. And I never get play a warrior daily. It's all it's like or sorry, play an assassin daily. I've literally had the last two weeks have been win a game, play a specialist, play a support, play a warrior, win a game, play Diablo heroes. None of them have ever been play a Starcraft hero or play as an assassin. But you probably don't care. So go ahead and show off his abilities. His first ability is inspire. He cheers people on. Let's toggle minions real quick. Inspire. You can kind of see the minions affected. Penetrating round. Shoot around. Pretty straightforward. And adrenaline rush. So, Penetrating Round does 107 damage and knocks back enemies. Inspire, gain 15% bonus attack and movement speed. Nearby allies will gain half of this bonus. And Adrenaline Rush, automatically activates and heals you for 200% when you're below 30% HP. Has a cooldown of 45 seconds. His, his primary ability, lead from the front. Enemy ki enemies killed within a short time of being damaged by you reduce your kill cooldown by one second. Enemy heroes killed reduce it by ten. Okay, let's look at his stats. Rainer starts with 725 HP and a 1.51 regeneration. 500 mana with a 3 point regeneration. He has a 5.5 attack range and a 1.25 attack speed. And he deals 40 damage at level 1. As we level up... Choose a talent. Time to man up. Actually, while I'm leveling up, you go there. Then come back. Choose a talent. As you can see, at level 30, he has 4,205 regener- or er, mana. Mana. He has 4,205 HP with 8.76 regeneration, 790 mana with 5.83 regeneration, and he deals 388 damage a shot. Not bad stats. Penetrating round, now does 745 damage. Inspire. Has the same adrenaline rush now heals you for 1360. 
So, let's go ahead and take a look at his talents. At level 1, you have Give Me More. Increases Adrenaline Rush's healing by 50%. Seasoned Marksman. General Talent. Demolitionist. General Talent. Bribe and Scout Drone. Also General Talent. Now, we're going to... This time, we're going to take Give Me More. Um, but, depending on how you build, Seasoned Marksman or Demolitionist is always the better choice. And I'll go in... Actually, yeah, I'll go into that a little more next time, round. So, I'm going to take Give Me More. Choose a talent. Okay, now we go on. We have Quick Fingers, doubles the cooldown reduction of Lead from the Front, meaning Minions will give 2 and Heroes will give 20. Not a bad talent, all in all. Um, you also have Vampiric Assault. Basic attacks heal you for 15% uh, of the damage they deal. But most of the time, I take Advanced Optics. Increases your attack range by 20%. Choose a talent. To 6.5. You then have Heavy Ammo. Penetrating Rounds increases knockback distance and deals 100%. Extra damage to structures. Revolution Overdrive. Gain 10% movement speed when using Inspire, plus 5% mo additional movement speed for each ally hero inspired. Flight or Flight. Adrenaline Rush cleanses all movement impairing effects and makes you unstoppable for tw uh, 2 seconds. And the Searing Attack uh, General Talent. I'm going to be taking Heavy Ammo. If I had it available as one of my level 2s, I'd take Demolitionist. Because I'm going to be building Hyperion, and we'll get into that in a moment. So I'm going to be building Heavy Ammo. Choose a talent. Hyperion. Call down the Hyperion, which slowly travels across the battlefield, dealing damage to up to 4 random targets in its path. So, this is Hyperion. And fast. Giant Shadow. And it deals damage. Now at level 13, you have Giant Killer, General Talent, and Shield Spell. Spell Shield, General Talent. You also have Adrenaline Rush. Uh, Adrenaline Rush can be used on command. Uh, doing so reduces uh, the cooldown by 15 seconds. And the Art of War. On using Inspires, nearby enemies have their attack speeds and movement speeds lowered by 10%. I hate to admit it, if I had it, I would take Adrenaline Rush. It literally changes a 45 second cooldown to a 30 second cooldown that you can use at will. Why would you not take that? Uh, we're going to take Giant Killer this time, just because. Uh, now, at level 16 you have Executioner and Berserker both general talents. You also have Bullseye. The first enemy hit by penetration rounds is stunned for one second and takes 50% more damage. Or cluster rounds. Penetration grenades or penetration I cannot speak English today. Penetration rounds damage is increased by 10% for each additional target you hit. The width is also increased by 50%. Choose a talent. And we're going to take the Battle Hyperion. Groovy. Reason we've taken Battle Hyperion? Bottom up, Matt. It doesn't increase the time. It lasts, however... Yes, as you saw... Plan. It devastates... Building. Okay, let's go ahead and reset cool that everything, and let's try this out in a fight. So, right on. get behind him so I can control him a little bit. So, as you can see...
as Rainer, I'm able to pretty much control the battlefield. and easily take out buildings. Now, as I said, if I had it available, I would have taken Adrenaline Rush so that I can control my hill. And I would have taken... Let's see. What was another one I said I would have taken? One there. Oh, I would have taken Demolitionist, which would give me an additional 10% damage against structures. It would also deplete ammo by one every time I hit them. As you can see... Even without Hyperion, Rainer deals massive amounts of damage to the building. Like literally, one penetrating round into a, a tower. <laughs> this should be good. Let's actually even just go to the side so I can kind of stack it up. Penetrating round into a tower. Yeah, like, seriously, why would you not do that? And again, with Hyperion. De one Hyperion, I can devastate an entire uh, wall line. Now, Hyperion, the uh, Yamato Ganon, if I didn't read it, uh, Hyperion increases the number of shots of each target volley by 2, up to 6. So it will hit 6 targets at one time for 205 damage a pop. Every 4 seconds, Hyperion will also fire a Yamato Cannon at an enemy structure. So, Sounds like a plan. if you want the most out of it, you got to get up close so that it can start targeting instantly. And as you can see, building's almost gone, towers are almost gone, I can literally just walk up in here. One tower down, give myself a little bit of inspiration, another tower down. And the enemy's gone. Oh, and for good measure, take out that moon well. Just cause. I don't like it. Okay. Let's go ahead and reset the levels. Refresh that port. Now, with this next build, I'm going to go... It's going to be less focused on damaging buildings and more focused on damaging people. So, you can either take Season's Marksman or give me more. It really doesn't matter. Um, Season's Marksman will give you more damage. Give me more will give you more health. It's up to you. I'm going to go with Season's Marksman. The same for all of these. Uh, Quick Fingers, is, all of these are nice with this build. I like Advanced Optics because it gives you range. Uh, Vampiric Assault's great because it gives you health. Uh, quick fingers is great because it lowers your cooldown reduction, or it gives you cooldown reduction. Choose a talent. At level seven, since we're not wanting to do a lot of damage to here to buildings, we'll just take flight or flight. Um, adrenaline rush cleanses all movement impairing effects on you, making it so that you can't be stunned for two seconds. Choose a talent. We're going to take Rainer's Raiders I can dig to that. show these off. You can count on me. These are also pretty good against building, uh, I'll admit. As you can see, they're able to take it out, although they're not doing a very fast job. Each Banshee th shoots out two volleys, which will deal uh, 85 damage. And they attack the targets I attack. So... Whatever I tell them to attack. Okay, continuing on. 
Again, you can either take Giant Killer or Active Rush. We're going to take Activated Rush because I've already shown you Giant Killer. Choose a talent. And for this one, you can either take Executioner, Berserker, or Bullseye. In fact, um, if you take Art of War, you can also take Executioner and deal 40% more damage. We're going to go with Bullseye. It gives us a stun, and um, it increases the amount of damage that target will take. Choose a talent. And we're going to take Hell's Angels. Banshees remain cloaked even while attacking, and fire one more volley, or missile per volley. Swan. So, me one of those. let's go ahead and toggle these minions. As you can see, a drill and rush. I can now activate it at will, and let's go into combat. So, just straight up, activate Banshees as soon as we get in. And he drops. Wait, how do we have a tank? I'm not even going to ask questions. As you can still, they still see, they still do the same damage. It's just now that they, uh, are here. They're, they remain cloaked, which means towers won't attack them. Which is really nice, let's be honest. Wow, that was close. Okay, we'll press that port. And, plain and simple, being able to activate your heal without having to drop below 30% is really nice. So again, we'll activate. And we'll just kind of inspiration a little bit so we can control it. Literally, you drop a person and seconds. And you're still not, like, you're not doing that bad against buildings. And as you can see, every time you kill an enemy minion, or every time you kill an enemy hero, you're gaining cooldown reduction. Man, did I just miss that? That is horrible. And dead and down. Sounds like a plan. Anyway, it's kind of one of those things. I could go on for a little while about some of the nuances, but it's basically just going to be the same thing over and over again. So, let's just go ahead and call that here. Um, Rainer, a really fun champion, really nice. This should be good. Depending on which ult you're planning on taking will depend on how you build. If you take Rainer's Rainer's, you can just build up a lot of damage, a lot of survivability, and you can walk into a duel and drop people without a problem. Or, if you're going to take Hyperion, you just build up a lot of siege damage. You take your Demolitionist, you take your heavy ammo, and you walk through the enemy base as if it was a bowl of pudding. Anyway, I hope this this was informative, and I hope that this was enjoyable. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section below, and have a nice day.